Do you have a son or daughter who has completed eighth grade and has a C average or better? If they're between the ages of 14 and 20, they may want to check out Explorer Group Post or Fire Explorer Post 116. And what does that stand for, you may ask? Norfolk Fire Rescue's Beth Bruner, Office of Public Affairs, and Lieutenant Myron Coleman are here to tell you. And um, I had not heard of Explorer Fire Explorer Post 116 before, um, but it is, uh, it's, I thought, hmm, Boy Scouts. And indeed, it's under that umbrella, Correct. but it's not like you have to be a Boy Scout in order to participate. Certainly not. Mm -hmm. And the group meets twice a month, the first and third Thursdays at our training center, which is 7120 Granby Street. Mm -hmm. They meet at 7 o'clock, usually for about an hour and a half. And it's boys and girls, mostly Norfolk residents, but they don't have to be Norfolk. It can okay. be from all of Southside. Okay, and these, these youth will be attending meetings a couple of times a month, but what they do in the course of those meetings and over a period of time is, is pretty amazing. Um, mm -hmm. You uh, clearly are focusing on um, the firefighter or fire rescue aspect right. of, um, of the profession, but these are not full-blown adults yet, so they're being exposed to something or some things and information and skills that really are special. Uh, you don't get when you go to school. Right. right. So, uh, Lieutenant, you are involved in teaching some of these uh, yes. Yes, courses and, and holding these meetings. Yes. What goes on at a typical meeting? So, in a typical meeting, we meet with the explorers and we teach them what we do. So, we have an opportunity to introduce the field to the young adults and they have an opportunity to find out if this is really what they want to go into. Mm -hmm. We provide them with gear, we provide them with uh, training so that they can really have a, a realistic look at what a firefighter does um, when they respond to fires and when they respond to EMS calls. Wow, so they get a kind of a, a up close and personal view of the, what it takes. Yes. Some kids, I would imagine, go into this saying, yeah, I'm interested because um, my dad does it or um, my mom does it or I just always thought I wanted to do this. So this gives them an opportunity to, to move beyond just dreaming about it and Certainly. making a decision. Gives yes. them a great exposure to this mm -hmm. and about 12 uh, just over 12 of our explorers have actually turned it into a career, wow. but that is not the intention of the group. That's just a wonderful right. um, opportunity for them to make this a career. Mm -hmm. Norfolk has benefited from that, of course, sure. and uh, we've also had several members go into the military, and so the teamwork aspect of this, the camaraderie, the leadership skills, that is the intention of this group, a positive uh, environment for these young adults mm -hmm. to be around other like-minded individuals. Okay. So they meet twice a month and, and school has just gotten underway so this is a, probably a good time to talk about it because this does this go on during the school year? Um, yes. Or is, is that the... It the goes campaign? on during the school year, uh -huh. it goes on during the summer and the post is led by Chief Norville which has started this post 13 years ago. He's very excited, still to this day, he loves the job. So it's a great opportunity to be around somebody who's been in this field for longer than most of us have been alive so uh and and we meet on the first and third thursday like we said and and you really get an opportunity to see up close whether it's climbing the ladder um of of the aerial truck that we have or just um using the fire hose or getting cpr training and it doesn't matter if it's summertime it doesn't matter if school's in and we allow the students to have flexibility in their schedule so if they're not able to come because it's um, a, a busy time for sports or a busy time during school then that is excused um, but besides that we meet uh, twice a month and we have a good time but we learn while we're doing it. How many people are generally in the meetings? Well like I said it's flexible because uh, some of the students have maybe football season or volleyball or something going on but at any given time we have about 15 uh, explorers at the meeting and mm -hmm. we, we, we do a lot of, a lot of good things during those meetings. Okay. We also serve the community. We've been a part of several programs, uh, whether it be um, inspecting fire alarms, making sure the community has uh, working smoke detectors, okay. um, it, making sure that uh, we have the opportunity to volunteer in the community, we do that as well. well so they are, they are getting a, an awareness 
of what goes on in the community. And they're, they're also tasked from the Boy Scout events to be the first aid sector and to teach CPR to younger Boy right. Scouts. And you don't have to be a Scout, which is the... Correct. So that if people think, oh, you know, well, I'm not a scout, I can't do it. But this would be great to share with your kids. And there's a symposium coming up shortly that the kids are going to be involved in and that uh, logistics um, for a big, uh, big. There big is meeting that's coming The up. annual EMS symposium starts on November 5th through the 10th. Uh -huh. That's held at the Marriott downtown. And that is an annual symposium for EMS providers within the state. Usually about 1,700 members come. Wow. And the post young adults, they will assist behind the scenes. So they are in our logistics command sector. Yeah. And they kind of um, get orientated to that structure. And they assist behind the scenes. Wow, so they're getting some real life experience in so many ways Definitely. and exposure to things that they may not have gotten exposure to um, in any other way. So exactly. give uh, uh, Dan Norville, uh, contact him at nfrrecruitment at norfolk.gov if you want to know more about the, flyer, the Fire Explorers uh, group and um, see if your child, son or daughter, ages 14 to 20, okay. with a C average or better, having completed the eighth grade and hopefully mm -hmm. has moved beyond, is interested um, yes. because it's a wonderful opportunity and you just don't get those you know every day so thank, thank you, you for what you do thank and you thanks for, for joining us. us thank you thank you for joining us we'll see you again next time bye